The king has returned. The prophecies fulfilled. The years of longing are over. The king has returned. And now all will be made right. Amidst shouts of praise and tears of joy, the pleading for justice, the cries for our enemies' defeat. The king has returned. The king who was driven from his land as an infant, who spent his first years as a refugee, who understands pain and suffering. But this king is not who we were looking for. This king brings justice not over our enemies, but in the midst of our enemies. He brings peace, not in our land, but in our souls. He is the answer to the prayer we did not know we were praying. The King has returned. Long live the King. The king is dead. The hand that once held a branch now gripped a hammer. The king is dead. This king of kings who embraced the very nature of a servant. This prince of peace broken for us. This commander of angels surrendered to a cross. This king joins us in our suffering, empathizes in our weakness, and he calls us to die with him, to lay down our lives, to live in surrender, that we may be fully alive. The king is dead. Long live. This king is not gone forever. The story has not ended. There is a twist, a third act. There is a third day, and on that third day, the king will strip death of its power and extinguish the sting of Hades. This king is not defeated. This king is not destroyed. This king is the resurrection. He is the life. He is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. The king has returned, leaving death behind, destroying hate, inviting us all to live in his victory. His kingdom and his peace. Yes, the king has risen.